Hello everyone, welcome back to my 4 star school YouTube channel. In today's lesson, we are going to make this job finder application using the Flutter. First, I'm going to give you a quick demo so you know what we're going to build after we finish uh, this entire tutorial. And this is our home page of this uh, job find application. When I click this uh, search card, I will be navigated to the search page and we can actually type in uh, something. And then we have a list of job and we can uh, select different type and we back to our home page. So in here we have uh, the job car. So when I click this job car, uh, the bottom sheet uh, will pop up. Right, so this is the project we're going to build. If you are new to my channel, feel free to reach it out to my channel page. In there you will find Atar Programming Language Tutorial, Flutter for Beginner Tutorial, and also Flutter UI from Scratch Tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, sum up my content, and open a notification so you won't miss out the latest Flutter tutorial in the future. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's open our terminal and navigate to our uh, workspace, uh, which is this project folder. And in here, I'm going to use Flutter command, Flutter create command to create a job finder app. After a few seconds, it will indicate our project is created successful. Then we can open our Visual Studio Code and find our workspace, which is this project, and open our Job Finder app. And now uh, I'm going to do some project setup. So first, let's create a SS folder. And inside this SS folder, I'm going to uh, move our SS, which is in my download folder. I'm going to move the SS uh, under this SS folder and then uh, click this pubs YAML file, uh, file line 48. I'm going to uncomment those lines and change it to SS images send as the icon SS icons right. and hit save then we can back to our uh, mid.tar and here I'm going to create some folder under this lib folder. So first one is the uh, comment folder and then is the screen folder. Also for models folder and the widgets folder for the common widget. And then inside this screen I'm going to create a home folder and a search page, search folder. So under this home folder, I'm going to create a home.r and create a stateless widget, call it home page. So let's import the library and uh, change this to scaffold. I will have a scaffold, we have a body attribute. I'm going to place the center widget. And also for the child, I'm going to just write some text to indicate this is our home page. Right, and then we can back to our main.dart file and we're going to delete all of them. And I think here until line 28. So we're going to replace this my home page to a home page we create just now. Right. And I think we can delete this as well. 
uh, change this to a uh, job finder app okay so let's save and uh, we can open our emulator uh, you can see I have already connected with my Android emulator so I can hit this run button and after I hit this run button uh, we're going to wait for a few minutes because uh, for the first time it will take some time to install the entire application into our Android emulator so just wait for a few minutes okay after a few minutes uh, our home page is show up on our uh, emulator so I'm going to uh, remove this uh, debug banner and also the status bar so let's find our uh, main.dart file and under this uh, material app I'm going to find this attribute which is called uh, show check mode uh, banner I'm going to set to force and then uh, still inside uh, this build method I'm uh, going to use a uh, system chrome uh, uh, system UI overlay style and to pass the system overlay UI I here I'm going to change the color of our status bar change to colors transparent okay I think that's enough let's save and we hide this status bar and remove this debug banner and we can start from this point so first open our uh, design file I'm going to set our uh, primary color and the essence color so I'm going to define a theme by using the theme data and inside this theme data I'm going to define our primary color and our essence color okay let's save and then we can start from this point so first going to implement this uh, home page first so let's find this uh, home data under this home folder uh, we're going to create a widget folder for this home file and I'm going to replace uh, this center widget with the stack widget the reason I use stack widget here because you will see we have a white color and also the gray color so i'm going to use a stack widget for it is trial i use the road widget and we have a trial as well and i'm going to use to expand it widget here one is uh, give a flex two and the other one i'm going to give a flex one for it is trial so I'm going to uh, just use a container because uh, the default container color is white so I don't need to give any color for the second uh, container I'm going to change its color to a uh, gray with capacity and I'm going to set to 0 0.1 so let's save you're able to see we have a uh, uh, the white color on the left side and the gray color on the right side and then we can start from this point to implement our uh, app bar first so under this uh, row widget 
I'm going to use a column widget here. So I'm uh, going to implement it is a children attribute. So I also need to set it is close alignment to start and going to declare our home app bar. Right, so let's create our home app bar file. And here I'm going to use a row widget and this is the first row and this is the second row. The first row will be a colon again. So let's declare a stateless the widget. I just call it a home app bar. And then remove the constructor for now and import the library. So here I just give a text. I'm going to call it app bar and then I'm going to import the library here so you'll be able to see the text showing here and for this container I'm going to give the padding so I'm using the edge inset the only for the top the padding I'm going to use median query to get the height of the status bar and uh, padding dot top and then for the left and right I just give it 25 okay let's save and then uh, for this uh, app bar I'm going to use a row widget right. for it is child so I'm going to use first is the colon right the second one is uh, row widget again so this is our first colon I'm going to set the uh, colon to uh, cross alignment dot start I'm going to change it is cross alignment to start and also for the row here uh, I'm going to use uh, space between for it is main uh, axis alignment. Also, I'm going to uh, implement it is uh, children, so which is two text widget. So for the first text, uh, it's the welcome home, right? You will come home. So for the second widget, uh, it's the point. So let's say uh, you will be able to see those text uh, showing up. And then I'm going to style it a little bit. So I'm going to use a text style. So inside this text style, and I'm going to change the color to a gray, and also change it is font weight to bold. Okay, let's save. And for the second one, make it much bigger, and also. Uh, turn into bold, I implement this style, use text style as well. For this one, I'm uh, going to uh, change it is font weight to bold and also change it is a uh, font size. Uh, I'm going to set it to 28. Okay, and I think we need some uh, space between those two texts. So I'm going to use a sized box. I'm going to give it high set to uh, just 10. Okay, let's save. Now it's good. Okay, let's implement uh, our second row. Okay, for it is child uh, children. I'm going to uh, use a stack widget for the first one because we have uh, this 
very very small red dot and then I'm going to use the uh, icon so for the first one uh, it's a container and the second one is clip oval because it's a circle shape so I'm going to use it so implement it is a trial I'm going to use image .access. and avatar pack and also need to set this weight to uh, 40 otherwise you are very very big let's save it shows here and then for our uh, first icon so I'm going to give the margin so for the margin I'm going to use edges only uh, give the top margin 30 and right just 10 and also I need to uh, use this transform using uh, matrix for the uh, rotate Z it's going to set to 100 and then implement it is trial so here I'm going to use a stack widget so for it children first one is the icon I just use a default material icon notification the uh, thing is notification non outline it and also I'm going to give the size uh, 30 and the color should be a little uh, great okay and then it's for our second one the position I'm going to uh, make it top uh, 0 and right 0 as well so for it is trial it's another container inside this container I'm going to give it a decoration so I'm going to use the box decoration uh, color is uh, red and also the shape is box shape dot circle and then I'll give some uh, padding the or set to 4 ok and let's say and you will see we have uh, this icon but it's too close right so I'm going to give it uh, some gap so I'm going to use a sized box so the weight I'm going to give uh, 20 okay let's say now it's much better okay I think that's all for this uh, home app bar so next we're going to implement this uh, search card and I think it's a uh, colon widget we have a first uh, colon second colon and third colon so let's uh, create a search card dot file and here I'm going to call it search card then remove the constructor for now and also import the library so here just a uh, name search card save and in this home dot r I'm going to import our search card here so let's say uh, you're able to see we have uh, this uh, placeholder just a very very simple text shown here and then we're going to start from this point so first uh, set it is margin using edge incest or set to uh, 25 and then going to uh, for it is trial I'm going to use a colon widget I have uh, many colon so but this entire uh, this uh, container I'm going to set it is background um, so I just 
using this uh, decoration so I'm using box decoration we have a border radius I'm going to set to 30 and then going to set this uh, image attribute which I'm going to use decoration image inside this decoration image we have uh, uh, this image attribute as well and I'm going to use the SS image here going to use the path image dot search background dot peg and also going to set it is fit attribute and going to use the uh, cover right. and then you need to give these container a uh, height and width so for height just give it 300 and for width I just using this double dot max vanity and that's safe for now and you're able to see we have this search card and then we can implement it is trial uh, inside this colon okay so inside this colon uh, first we're going to say this cross alignment to star right and then we're going to implement it is children so for the first children it's a text widget uh, which is just the fast search for our second text widget uh, which is uh, you can search a quick d for the job you want okay so let's say actually we're going to style a little bit right so first give these container a, a padding going to set the edge inset dot uh, symmetric for the horizontal just give it 25 but for the vertical I will give it more so I give it 40 and now it will be the text move a little bit down and going to change the style for our uh, first colon when use a text style for the text style change it is color so the text should be white right and then for the phone size going to change to 26 so let's save so and also we have some space between those two texts I'm going to use a size box for it is high I'm going to set just 10 and let's save then we're going to uh, style the second text going to use text widget sorry a uh, text style widget for this text style and set the height to 1.8 and also the color is also white color and phone weight and I don't use uh, W400 let's say okay now it's much similar and final I'm going to implement this uh, search bar so let's give some uh, space between the text and the search bar I just copy that and increase it a little bit I think 30 is enough and then going to use the container in this case so for this container I'm going to set it is decoration I use box decoration because we have a, a rounded corner so I'm going to change it is border radius and using a border radius dot circular going to set to a 30 right and also give the padding for this container using this edge inset.or give it 15 and the color should be a white okay so that's safe for now so inside the search uh, search bar we have an icon 
on left and the text on the right. So for it is a child attribute, I'm going to uh, use a row. Inside this row, uh, we have uh, the children. First children is our image uh, icon. This is star icon star search the pick. Going to set it is width to uh, twenty. Okay, let's save and also give some space between the icon and the text. So using this size box, set to a ten and also this should be a search. Change it is a style using the text style. Change it is color font size. Color should be a gray, gray. Uh, font size should be just uh, 18. Okay, let's save. Now it's very similar. And next we're going to implement this tag list. Let's create a file for this tag list. So inside this widget folder, I'm going to create a tag, tag list star and it should be a stable widget because we add to uh, I'm going to change the color when those tags select so I'm going to use a stable widget in this case I'm going to call it tag list okay and remove the constructor for now and import a library right, for here I just place very simple text tag list also, I'm going to import a library here. Mm. It should be a tag list. Okay, so let's save. And we're able to see these uh, tags showing up. And we can start from this point. So first we're going to define the tags list. So for the tag list, it should be a list of string. String. And first one is or, the second one is uh, popular, and the third one is featured. So we're going to have a, a emoji in here. So let's open our image uh, emoji PDF. We're going to use this high voltage for the popular. So let's back to Visual Studio Code and paste it here. And for our feature, I'm going to use this start emoji. So paste here as well. Okay, and let's save. But I don't think we have uh, something sure here because we didn't implement the anything yet. So I'm going to decay another variable uh, which uh, to indicate uh, which uh, tag is select. So the first index will be zero. So by default, this all will be select. And then um, inside this container, I'm going to keep the padding. So I'm going to set using the edge inset, uh, symmetric, horizontal, give it 25, make it consistent. And also remember, if you want to use a list view inside a container, you must give the height for it. So here I give a uh, probably 14, uh, 40. And also for this trial, I'm going to use the list view dot separated. Okay. And for it is item count, uh, I just use a uh, tag list dot len here. And also for it is separator, and I'm going to uh, use size the box and give it a weight probably uh, 15 is enough. So let's save. So I'm going to change uh, the scroll direction because by default it's vertical, so we need to change it to horizontal, and also uh, for these. Uh, item builder 
uh, we will receive the context and index here so we're going to return something so for here we just return a container but I'm going to wrap this container with uh, another widget uh, which is a gesture detector and we're going to implement it is on tab method we're going to change our state layer okay we're going to call our set state method change the selected variable to the index okay let's save and also inside this container so first I'm going to implement this trial just uh, pass the tag this and we access to it is in uh, element using the index so we can save for now and you will see we have uh, these all popular and featured show up and we can style it a little bit so for this container I'm going to uh, set it is padding by using edge inset dot symmetric and vertical set to 10 and horizontal and I'm going to set to 20 and also for uh, it is background color so I'm going to use this uh, box decoration for it is uh, color and we're going to uh, check the selected this variable okay select it I'm going to check this variable first We equals index I'm going to give uh, using our primary color so we're using seam of context dot uh, primary color with capacity set to uh, 0 0.2 right otherwise uh, just the uh, white color okay let's say you're able to see we have uh, this one by default select and we can choose to a different one right send as the border you will see we have a border radius and also the border here so I'm going to write down it is border as well so for the border radius going to set to a uh, property 20 and for it is border and going to check so first by using this border all and for the color border color I'm going to check if the select if it equal to the index if it equals I'm going to use the primary color okay primary color otherwise I just use the color as this background color All right so let's say going to test it So next we're going to uh, implement this car. So I think we finished this tag list. So next we're going to implement uh, this uh, job car. First we're going to define our job model. So let's back to Visual Studio Code. Under this models folder, I'm going to create a job.dar and going to create a class called job. Right. and we can check we have uh, this uh, icon right in the title and this a uh, bookmark and also uh, this mm, job title and the location so we're going to define the attribute press the company and also the logo URL and this is marked in title location also the time is it full time or part time right and finally uh, I think it's a list of string which is a uh, can include a list of a requirement right here right. 
this is the requirement we're going to get from this job. So we're going to implement it is a constructor in company our logo cool. and this dot is mark and this dot title this dot location this dot time and last one is this dot requirement okay so let's save then I'm going to create a static method which generate a list of a uh, job object right so here I define a static a method will return a list of job we define here which contain the company the logo and is marked and the, the job title and job location and the job type and also the description so let's save and then we can go back to our uh, home right we're going to create another file so because this one is entire uh, we can call it a job list and each one is a job item so I'm going to separate it so first I'm going to create a job item and then I can create a job list okay so under these widgets folder I'm going to create a job item .dar. So inside this job item, and I'm going to create a stateless widget. Just call it job item, right? and remove the constructor for now, and import a library. Just call it job item. So send as the job list. So I'm going to create another file. I just call it job list .dar. So inside this uh, job listener, and I'm going to create a state list widget as well. Uh, list, you can call it job list, and delete the constructor and remove uh, uh, import library. Here, I'm going to call it job list. Okay, so let's save. So inside this job list, uh, we're going to get a list of jobs we define in our job model. So first, we're going to import our job list here, All right? So let's save. You're able to see we have uh, this job list text shown here. And then we're going to uh, get our job list from the job object, right? We call it generate method. First, we're going to import the library here, and we can access to it is static method. I will return a list of job, and then we're going to uh, give the container a margin, right? So using this edge inset symmetry, a uh, vertical set to uh, twenty five. And also, because we're going to use a list view, so remember if we're using a list view inside container, we must give it high. So here I set a uh, 160 for it is a uh, child. We're going to return a list view dot separator, uh, and I'm going to implement those item one by one. So first, this item count should be. Uh, job list dot land and for this separator I'm going to return a size box the, uh, I'm going to set it is width to uh, 15 uh, 15 is enough and the last one is this item builder right so for it is item builder I'm going to uh, return a job uh, item so we will receive a context and also the index and going to return a job item I'm going to pass the, the job each job inside this 
into this job item right? we're going to access to it so for our job item I'm going to define a final job which you will get from our constructor job item at least job I'm going to import the library okay so let's save and also import library here as well okay and you will see we have four job items right and also we need to change the direction so it should be uh, horizontal and also keep the padding so for the padding uh, just use this uh, symmetric set the horizontal to 25 okay let's save and we can implement those job car so let's back to uh, the job item for each job item because uh, uh, as you see this prototype it's very very similar uh, like this uh, search page right the only difference is, is uh, this time the job type so in the search page we display these a uh, full time and part time right but in our home page we will hide this so I'm going to uh, create a label and in like a, a flag which uh, I, I'm going to call it like a short time right so I'm going to create another boolean with rubble I will just show this time and this one should be a name parameter so I'm going to set the default set to false right. and if you set to true I'm going to show this time okay so let's save and we can implement the job car here so for the job car uh, we're going to uh, use uh, you will see the colon widget first colon second colon and third colon for our first colon it should be a row right so let's implement it I'm going to I first give this container a white right so we're going to give 270 and the padding so using this edge inset or set to 20 and also the decoration use box decoration because we have this a rounded corner so I'm going to change the border radius and border radius use border radius dot circular set to 30 and also change it is color to colors dot y okay let's save okay seems good then I'm going to replace this text widget it's our column widget and we're going to implement it is a uh, children attribute uh, first uh, you notice going to set it is alignment cross the alignment to start okay change to start and for it is trial so first one should be a row right and inside this row uh, we have a first row so I'm going to give it the out this this one the, the first row a uh, main x alignment going to set to space between uh, inside this row the widget we have a, another row and a and a text widget okay so let's implement it and it should be an icon in the company name so let's use a container I'm going to give it high set to 40 and width set to 40 as well and also the padding 
set to 8 and then decoration because we're going to change the border layer so we're using this box decoration and using border readers border readers dot circular uh, set to 10 and also change the color colors dot gray dot with capacity set to 0 0.1 okay and for the image so we're going to use access thing can because we have access to this job object you can use job dot uh, logo url all right so let's save you'll be able to see our uh, logo company logo show up and also we have a uh, some space between the text I'm going to use the size box here size box and we set to set the width to 10 also the uh, job the company all right so going to style it a little bit so using a uh, text style for text style and going to change the color color to gray also the font size to 16 then it's font weight to bold alright so let's save okay now it's better and this is our first row right and the second row of course we're using the space between so for the other one i just use this icon so but we need to check if the job is marked if it is marked i'm going to uh, return this bookmark right otherwise I just return icon star book mark uh, outline outlined it okay and also uh, check it is color the same check the job is marked I'm going to return the primary color of context dot primary color otherwise just the black color okay let's say because you see we have a uh, marked this uh, Airbnb so going to check if we turn yes a color change okay okay so let's continue and we finish our first colon then we're going to Keep some space by using size box here. Set high to 15. Okay, for our second column, should be just a text. Okay, so for it is text, I'm going to use a job dot title. Right. Also, we need to change it is style using text style so in this text style change it is form form weight into bold okay let's save and also give some space so we can just copy here and for this one because uh, this icon and text this entire uh, widget showing here as well and also showing this search page as well so I'm going to create a comment uh, widget for this one and I'm going to call it uh, icon text so let's find our uh, widget folder under the lift folder so this one, right? So I'm going to create 
a new file, I just call it icon text of that. So inside this icon text, uh, I'm going to create a stateless widget icon text. Remove the constructor for now and also import library. So for our icon text, we're going to receive the icon data and also the text, right? So for it is attribute under define icon data, which is icon, and also the string should be a text, and also implement this constructor restart icon start text okay and for this build method we're going to return a road widget okay so implement it is trial so for the first row should be icon and the color should be color star yellow for our Second row should be a text, so just place text and also style it a little bit using a text style. Font size should be 12 and color gray. So as you see, uh, all of those icon tests have uh, the same style, so we can just define style in here. Okay, let's save. But don't forget add some space between those two. So using size box, give it a weight set to 18. Okay. Okay, I think 10 is enough. So let's save. And we can close this one. For our job item, we can use uh, the common widget we defined. So let's create a a road widget so inside this row we have uh, this uh, children attribute we can using this icon text i'm going to import it for our icon data should be icon start location right and also the text should be job law location and also we can check if the show time set to true. I'm going to uh, display this icon text. Mm, it should be icon star ss time uh, outline color. Oh no, color is a job time. The text, okay. And you notice we have a, a main axis alignment should be a space between. So we're going to set this main axis alignment to space between. Okay, let's save. And back to our prototype. Yeah, I think uh, it's almost the same, right? Sorry, my emulator is very slow, but, uh, but I think we achieved the same result as show in prototype. So for the last part is the spotted navigation bar. So let's back to our uh, home daughter. Inside this home daughter, going to uh, finish it is spotted navigation. So we're going to find the spotted navigation bar attribute. So in this button navigation bar attribute, inside this button navigation bar, I'm going to use a uh, button navigation bar. This uh, widget, and we have uh, these items must be uh, implement. But first, I'm going to uh, set this show label to false, and also send as unselect label set to false and select it uh, item color should be our uh, primary color okay and the type because you see we have a uh, more than 
for item so I'm going to uh, set the type to fix bottom navigation bar type set to fix set to fix okay then we can implement the item so for the item I'm going to use bottom navigation bar item All right so we must implement it is label any icon so for the label first one should be a uh, home and icon I just use the uh, material icon the home and also the size set to a uh, 20 so let's copy I'm going to copy this one and paste it I'm going to change it one by one so for the second one it should be a case and this one is cases outlined it for the third one the third one I just make it empty All right here I'm going to make it empty because uh, this one I'm going to place our uh, floating button so I'm going to make it empty for our false I'm going to place a chart icon uh, it should be a chart outlined it and for our last one just a person All right here I'm going to choose person outlined it okay and we can save when you save uh, you will see actually a those button can be clicked right you will still see this this one so in order to uh, hide this splash uh, effect I'm going to wrap this button navigation bar uh, with uh, another widget which is our sim widget so I'm going to uh, set the sim data I'm going to change the splash color to transparent and send as the highlight color I'm going to change colors to transparent okay let's say now you won't able to see those splash color right it kind of a trick and then we're going to implement our uh, floating action button so floating action button action button so inside this floating button we have a implemented on press and also the child for it is trial we're just using the icon a material icon dot add and I'm going to change the color for this icon it should be white okay and also we're going to change the background color for this I'm going to use the essence color of context the essence color okay let's save and you'll be able to see our button and I'm going to remove the elevation set to zero okay and also I'm going to place it uh, move this the floating action button so I'm going to I use an attribute so floating action button location dot center dot so let's say I'm going to move these uh, floating button to our uh, to the center of our uh, button navigation bar okay I think that's all for our home page and I will left this uh, job detail and also the search page into the second part of the video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel sum up my content and open the notification so you won't miss out the second part of this job finder application okay thanks for watching i will see you in next video